There are three ways to grind for legendaries in the Outriders demo, but what is truly the best one? Do you know that I did not do any drop comparisons here between picking up chests and also killing captains? From experience, I got four legendaries from the Terra Inferma quest. The reason why I got legendaries from that is because that's the only method I was doing that time. If I was only doing that method that time, what the hell am I gonna blab about in this video? Well, I just compared my runs in terms of how much time it's taken me. Now I did that just to know if I was wasting time or being efficient. I did several runs with the Terra Inferma quest and also the other captain quest and the chest looting route. And then again, this is considering of course that killing a captain is equal to opening one chest. I'm not saying that's a fact, but I'm just assuming it for this test. So let's just say that killing a captain is equivalent to opening up a chest. Same drop rate for legendaries. The Terra Inferma quest is that quest wherein you will search for Lieutenant Kane. That's a quest with a sexy, sexy jump over the bridge cutscene. <laughs> After you jump over the bridge, you're gonna clear the first area. If you're clearing the first area for the very first time, do you know that there's gonna be one chest there. So find it first before you go to the other area. Once in the next area, go storm the bridge and take advantage of the enemies positioning themselves and kill the captain as fast as you can. I find doing this job easier when I'm playing the Technomancer and also a Trickster because both of them have skills that kinda infuses their bullets with powers that increases your DPS. Once you kill it for the first time, don't forget, there's also going to be a chest right above the captain, okay? But don't kill the other enemies. You need them to kill yourself. Once you get it first, die and then rinse and repeat. That easy. For the sake of testing, I did this method 25 times. I timed the moment I spawned in area two and also the moment I died, not the moment I killed the captain. That's irrelevant. The most important time here is the moment you die. That's actually the one that you're gonna start your next run. Makes sense. So in all those 25 times, my average run time was around 33.16 seconds per run. Now the next farming route would be the captain that is nearer. Actually, a lot of people claim that this is the most efficient one. The story point that you have to choose is meet with Jakub and Shira at the command room. Follow the main quest and you'll be in that part wherein you'll have to carve a path to the solar tower. Just follow the quest till you meet a group of enemies that will drop a key. The moment they drop a key, don't go enter the door just yet. Find one chest first if you're doing this for the first time. Open that chest, then open the door. Then there's also gonna be another chest inside the door, okay? Then you go kill the captain for the first time. Once you kill the captain for the first time, try to kill yourself. After that, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Your spawning point after you die is indeed nearer the captain as compared to the Terra Inferma quest. But the main problem that I have here is actually trying to die. It takes longer to die here as compared to the Terra Inferma quest. I guess the reason for that is because the other enemies are kind of far away from you. So the trick that I did here is after I killed the captain, I'm gonna go forward a bit, not that forward, only a bit that I'm at the center of all the enemies, then just die there. So same with the Terra Inferma, I did this for 25 times. And the average on my runs from the time I spawn to the time I die is around 31.48 seconds. This can be way faster, of course, if you're running a trickster, because you can kill it faster. I'm using a Technomancer because that's my preference. But yeah, I kind of agree that this is faster than the Terra Inferma quest. The third one, though, is the point in the story wherein you will confront the Altered, Gauss. I don't know if that's the way you actually pronounce it, but it's the only boss in the demo. But you're not going to fight it. It's going to be a waste of time if you fight it. You're just going to go there and loot the chests. Here's my uh, fastest run, just in case you don't know the route. Now, calculating the average for this approach is a bit tricky because you have to account in the loading time for the system you are playing on. I'm not running SSD on my PC though, so it can be a bit faster. 
But for me, taking into account the loading time going into the quest, getting the four chests, and going back into the lobby usually takes me around 1 minute and 59 seconds. Uh, I know, it, it's, it's kind of long, right? But of course, that's gathering four chests. Our average time with Terra Inferma and also the other captain quest are based on one run. Like, remember what I said? Killing one captain is equivalent to opening one chest. So we got to do a little math here. So as I said, one minute and 59 seconds, we just divide that into four and you will get 30 seconds for one chest. This can even become 10% faster, depending on how much an SSD can actually affect the loading time on Outriders. So comparing the three approaches, my average time in Terra Inferma, again, is around 33.16 seconds per run. With the other captain farm, it's around 31.48 seconds per run. And lastly, the chest looting route is at 30 seconds per run. Does this mean that the boring chest looting route is actually the most efficient way to farm? No, definitely not. Like I said, if you were using a trickster, you might end up killing the captains faster and then your attempt to die is actually bigger. So maybe it won't take you like 33 seconds or 31 seconds. Maybe it would take you like 25 seconds, then you're dead. You're going to be respawning and then doing the run again. Now that's faster, okay? But, but make the 30 seconds, okay? Make the 30 seconds for the chest looting route a baseline. So let's just say you're going with your chums, with your buddies, and you're hunting legendaries, and it takes you guys like 50 seconds to do the damn farm, okay? To kill a captain and then to respawn, it takes you 50 seconds, 55 seconds. That's, that's not being efficient. Again, I have no facts that says that the chests have the same drop rate for legendaries as killing the captain. No facts at all. So... I was just basically looking at the time here, if you're wasting time or not, if you're efficient or not, sort of to give you a gauge so that you know what really is best for you. And when you are trying to search for legendaries, please, please, please make your world level five, okay? Make it easy for you. And that's all for the video. Thank you for watching.